Hi friends, today I'm going to talk about what are the six basic animal groups. Let's see what are the six basic animal groups. There are invertebrates, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. An invertebrate is an animal without a backbone. Invertebrates live in every part of the world. In fact, most of the animals on Earth are invertebrates. Invertebrates come in all different shapes and sizes. Some can be seen only through a microscope, but giant squid is an invertebrate and it can grow to a length of 65 feet. The simplest animals are invertebrates. These include protozoans with just one cell, as well as sponges and other simple animals that live in the water. The invertebrate animals can be grouped according to their features. Many of them, such as worms, have soft bodies, corals, jellyfish and sea enemies are invertebrates that have stinging tentacles. Some invertebrates have tough spined skin that protects their bodies. These invertebrates are called echinoderms. Sea stars and sea urchins are examples of echinoderms. Other invertebrates have a hard outside covering on their bodies, called an exoskeleton. These invertebrates are called arthropods. Fish are animals that can be found all over the world. Fish live in the water and are vertebrate animals, which means that they have a spine. There are over 30,000 different kinds of fish, all of which have their own color and size. Fish have gills that help them to breathe in the water and they are covered with skin scales. These scales will usually get a layer of slime on them which helps the fish quickly fly through the water. Fish can be found almost anywhere and uh, there are bodies of water. They can live high up in the mountain streams all the way down to some of the deepest parts of the ocean. Almost half of the species of fish live in the ocean, while the other half live in the freshwater environments like lakes, rivers, and streams. A lot of ocean fish live in coral reefs, while those in freshwater bodies might find a river basin. The word amphibian means two lives. Amphibians spend their lives in the water and on land. All amphibians begin their life in water with gills and tails. As they grow, they develop lungs and legs for their life on land. Amphibians are cold-blooded, which means that they are the same temperature as the air or water around them. There are more than 4,000 different kinds of amphibians. Members of this animal class are frogs, toads, and amanthus, gills, parcelian. Reptiles are animals that are cold blooded. Most reptiles lay eggs and their skin is covered with hard, dry scales. There are many types of reptiles. The main categories are snakes, crocodiles, alligators, turtles, and lizards. Reptiles can be found on every continent except for Antarctica. Alligators are cro and crocodiles look slow but can move very quickly when attacking. 
Snakes are legless reptiles. They can move along the ground by flexing their bodies and can move very quickly despite not having legs. Only a small percentage of snakes are poisonous. Many snakes are constructors, meaning they squeeze their prey with their bodies until the animal is dead or immobile. They can swallow it all. If the meal is large enough, the snake can go weeks or even months without needing to eat again. Lizards are similar to snakes but with legs. Turtles are reptiles with a big shell to protect them. Some turtles can live for more than 100 years. The main characteristics of a bird is feathers. No other animal has feathers. Other important features of for birds are wings and hollowed bones. Birds also lay eggs, like reptiles. However, they are warm-blooded, like mammals. Feathers are made of keratin. This is the same stuff that fingernails are made of. At the center of the feather is a hollow shaft called the rachis. Connected to the shaft are lots of thin branches called barbs. Off of the barbs are even smaller branches called barbs. Of these branches make a light structure that can guide the air to fly. How do birds fly? Birds fly by flapping their wings and using air pressure to create lift underneath their wing, just like aeroplanes do. Feathers are important to birds because they keep them warm, help them to fly, and provide camouflage. Hollow bones also help in flying because they help make birds light enough to fly. A mammal is an animal that breathes air, has a backbone, and grows hair at the same point during its life. In addition, all female mammals have glands that can produce milk. Mammals are among the most intelligent of all living creatures. Mammals include a wide variety of animals. From cats to humans to whales, there are more than 5,000 species or kind of living mammals. More than half of all mammals are rodents, a group that includes mice and squirrels. Mammals are found in every major habitat around the world. Most mammals live on land, on the ground, in trees, or even underground. Some mammals include otters, beavers and seals live on land and in the water. Whales, dolphins, and manatees are mammals that spend their whole life in the water. Males range in size from a tiny bat to a huge whale. Mammals are the only animals that produce milk to nourish their young. The females have special glands called mammary glands. After childbirth, the mother's glands produce milk. The mother feeds the young with this milk until the young is old enough to get food for themselves. All mammals have hair in some stage of development. Hair helps to keep the body warm. The color and pattern of the hair also may help the mammal to blend in with its surrounding. This may keep a, a mammal hidden from its enemies. In some mammals, the hair takes a special form. Mammals are warm-blooded. This means that they are able to keep their body at roughly the same temperature no matter what the surrounding temperature is. This allows mammals to live in a wide range of climates. See you next time.